The throughput indicators show average throughput and one second throughput in bits per second for each technology. Classic also breaks it out for master and for slaves. The maximum width of each indicator is the maximum one second throughput that's been seen over the entire capture. And that can be different for each technology. The fact that average throughput and one second throughput are using the same width for their indicators makes it easy to compare them. So here, for example, we can see that low energy had a lot of throughput in the last second, but not that much overall. 802.11 is a little more consistent. You have complete control over the packet range that's used. You can use all the packets in the capture. You can use the selected packet range. So that uses all the packets that are selected. Or you can use the packets that are covered by the viewport, which in this case is packet 5351 to 5520. The average throughput uses the duration from the beginning of the first packet to the end of the last packet. One second throughput uses the full one second that ends at the end of the last packet. So in other words, you start at the end of the last packet, you go backwards one second. Now that has an interesting consequence. You can go into the frame display and if you start arrowing down through the packets you can see that the one second throughput is changing and the one second throughput that's being computed ends at the end of that one selected packet and goes backward one second. So that makes it really easy to see what the one second throughput is at any point in your capture. Now when you have one packet selected, the average throughput is going to use a duration which only covers that packet, which is obviously going to be very short. So the throughput is going to be very high. And in this case, the value will exceed the one second peak. So a little plus sign is drawn to indicate that. 